Hi everybody, this is Bill from TurboDial, and on this video we're going to do an overview and show how to set up Auto Attendant, which is an add-on capability in TurboDial. So it's useful to think of Auto Attendant in the context of what happens if you don't have it. Here's a case where you have a human attendant. Inbound call arrives, you get ringing on your main phone line. A person greets the caller, thanks them for calling the company, asks them who they want to be connected to. Uh, they find out which department, which name, or whatever. They make the transfer happen, and now the destination is ringing. Well, with auto attendant, same thing happens, except there's not a human there answering that phone. It's automatically answered by your auto attendant system. Same thing happens. A greeting is played. The destination is requested. This time, though, rather than speaking the destination, the caller enters it using digits on their phone. And then the auto attendant system makes the transfer of that call to the destination. You've just saved the effort associated with having a human answering your calls, and you've gained reliability because your calls will now always be answered regardless if there's a human available. So with auto attendant, you can allow your inbound callers to autonomously choose and then be connected to the people or resources they need. So some of the features in TurboDial auto attendant is that you can set up extensions, which can be one to four digits, one digit extensions, two digit, three digit, or four digits extensions. Also, TurboDial will do a lookup of that caller in Infusionsoft and then allow different greetings to be played to the caller based upon whether or not they are found in Infusionsoft or not. And then with each extension, you can play a pre recorded message, or you can transfer to a phone number, or you can even trigger an Infusionsoft campaign goal if it's a known caller. So auto attendant again is available only for inbound numbers that you've acquired in TurboDial and you can look at TurboDial.biz to find how to get that added into your account. Let's do a quick overview before we get into the details of how you set up auto attendant. So first of all though you must be a TurboDial account owner. Only account owners will have access to these uh, configuration features. You're going to compose your call arrival greetings. Those are where you welcome your callers and give them instructions. You're going to decide what extensions you're going to offer to your callers. You'll compose any acknowledgement messages that you're going to use with those extensions. And then you're going to go ahead and configure that number with all of that information. You access that configuration for auto tenant by clicking that red pencil button when you have selected the phone number in the inbound and SMS selector. And then you're going to create your dashboard reports, if any, that you'll need to be able to track your auto attendant usage. So let's start with composing your greetings. First of all, you're going to have two kinds of callers. There will be unknown callers. In that case, for the caller that's not found in your Infusionsoft account, perhaps you want to include options that you're going to greet them with that include uh, directing them to sales. Uh, for known callers, you might have a different greeting, and that could include options for directing them to support or billing or other pre-recorded product information. Or you could just simply use the same recording for both greetings. So you don't have to use a different recording there. You're going to want to type up these greetings. You know, think them through and type them up and refine that wording. Because then it always works best if you can read these greetings while you're making the recordings rather than just ad-libbing them on the fly. Next, you're going to decide your extensions. Now, you can have extensions that are either uh, anywhere from one to four digits long. However, all of the extensions that you create will be the same number of digits. So if you choose, for example, three digits, then all of your extensions will be three digits. In this case, here are some examples, 101, 102, 103, etc. Each extension is going to have configuration with at least one of the following items. It's going to have a pre-recorded message to play, and that will be used to confirm the choice that was entered by the caller. Or it could be used to provide some audio information to the caller. Now, next, a phone number that the call will be transferred to. You could use this to give your departments or members of a team their own extension off of the main line that is publicly available. And lastly, you might give an Infusionsoft API goal that could be triggered uh, when an extension is entered, as long as the call is known. And use that goal to send an email, uh, assign a task, apply tags, etc. These are Each of these three are optional, but you must have at least one of them. Let's talk about the messages that you compose for each extension. So, so if the purpose of the extension is to simply transfer the caller to a specific number, your message might say, you'll now be connected to, and then the name of the person or the name of the department that that call is being transferred to. Or if the purpose of the extension is to obtain some information that you've offered to the caller, 
such as in this case your business hours, you could then in your recorded message simply say our offices are open Monday through Friday from whenever. You want to type these up again and refine that wording for clarity so that when you're making your recordings, you're reading them and you get them right the first time. So now we're going to go through the actual steps for configuring auto attendant. They're here right here in the slides that are associated with this video, but we're going to proceed and actually do this uh, live in TurboDial rather than walking through the steps here. So we're here we have a, an Infusionsoft application running in a test account, and we have actually two TurboDial windows. One is running in Chrome, the other is running in Firefox. Let's use this one for our uh, setup demonstration. I want to show you my recorded message. I've already made these recorded message. I've got one called the lookup fail greeting, which is a greeting I will play when a caller arrives that is not found in Infusionsoft. And then I have lookup success greeting, which is a different greeting that will be played if the caller is found in Infusionsoft. And then I'm going to have three ex extensions plus the operator. And I have a message I'm going to associate to each of those extensions, sales, support, or billing. Oh, extension 101, 102, and 103. So these have already been set up and recorded and ready to be used as I configure my auto attendant. I'm going to put auto attendant on this phone number here that I've selected in the inbound and SMS selector. And I can go ahead and click the red pencil button. On the first screen of this configuration setup, there is the assigned user's Infusionsoft email ID. This is the user who will, by default, be assigned ownership for the call note records that are created for these auto attendant inbound calls. And now here on the third screen is where I will be able to set up auto attendant. Let's go ahead and choose auto attendant from my choices here. I'm going to choose a number of rings. I'll put it down to two rings. I already showed you the greetings I had pre-recorded, one for lookup success and the other one is for lookup fail. So when the inbound caller is recognized in my Infusionsoft account, this greeting will be played. And when the inbound caller, the person who calls this phone number again, when they're not recognized, this greeting will be played. Now, as I showed you, I'm going to have three digit extensions. So I'm going to choose three here. And I've only got the zero extension preset. I'm going to have to configure that. And I'm going to simply give it a uh, message to be played if they press that extension and a number to transfer to, which is chosen here. I'm going to choose a different number in that case. Now I need, I don't have any other extensions. I, I need to add my other extensions. But if you recall, they are 101. So I'm going to type 101 in there and click add. Now notice I have a little delete button trash can here. In the case of the zero extension, I can't delete it. But in the case of 101, it is an extension I can delete if I choose to. Zero cannot be deleted. For 101, if that extension is entered, I'm going to choose to play that message. And I want to transfer the number to, let's say, that phone number right there. I've left this field blank. This is the where the API goal call name would be set. In this case, for extension 101, let's not add one. Now let's add 102. Here we are at 102. I need to set up a message to be played when that extension is entered. And I need to set up a number to be transferred to when that extension is entered. And then add 103. 103 is going to be billing. Need to give it an extension number to transfer to. And let's say we also want to trigger a campaign goal when that extension is entered so we can keep track of people that are calling into our billing department. Now I've got my three extensions configured plus the zero extension which is required. If they enter zero, the operator transfer message acknowledgement will be played and they'll go to that phone number. If they enter 101, a different message is played and they go to that phone number. 102, the 102 message is played and another number is transferred to. And lastly, 103, that message is played, an API goal will be triggered, and that number is transferred to. So I've got it all set up. I've got my greetings. I've got all of my extensions configured. And I'm ready to click Update. So now I've completed the configuration of my auto attendant configuration for this phone number. I'm going to call this phone number from this other turbo dial panel so that we can test out this new auto 
attendant configuration. I do have a screen pop coming in, but I'm not going to answer because I want it to go to auto attendant. Thank you for calling Acme Sales. We're looking forward to talking to you again. Please press 101 for sales, 102 for technical support, or 103 for accounting. So I'm going to put 101 in for sales. Thank you. Your call will now be connected to sales. Hi, thanks for calling Acme Sales. Please leave your message after the tone and we'll get right back to you. No. Now in this case, sales is offline, and so it went directly to their voicemail, and I'm leaving a voicemail right now for sales. I hang up. Okay, so we just went through the steps of setting up auto attendant on a phone line, and you can come back and refer to the slides and see these step-by-step -step instructions right here if you need to. Now there's a special case called greet and transfer. Sometimes uh, when someone calls, all you wanna do is give a greeting and then transfer them immediately to another destination. The way you accomplish that is by setting the number of digits to be zero. That means you won't be configuring any extensions since the number of digits is zero. When someone calls to this 3366 number that's configured this way, they'll immediately hear the greeting according to whether or not they are found in Infusionsoft, and then the auto attendant will transfer them right to this phone number where their call will be handled. Now let's look at the note records associated with auto attendant. Here we have a a view of an Infusionsoft contact, in this case Edward Franks, and under their note fields you'll see that there is an, a note record called TurboDial inbound call to auto attendant and has an assigned user. When the call arrives to the auto attendant system, a note record will be created. It will have this note title, TurboDial colon inbound call to auto attendant. It will be attached to the contact if the contact was found in Infusionsoft. If they were not found in Infusionsoft, then the note record will still be created, but it just won't be attached to a contact record. And then secondly, if the inbound number has an assigned user, then the note record will be assigned to that user. Otherwise, it will be unassigned. So user assignment, we already showed you when we set up the auto attendant system, is on that first screen when you're modifying the configuration for the number. We can show you an actual example from that test call we just did. Let's bring up the contact record for the caller that we used in this case. Here's Reed Olson. Go down to their note records and you can see the notes here. Turbo Dial inbound call to auto attendant was the note was the note record that was created when the auto attendant handled the inbound call. But then the extension 101 was entered and that call was delivered to sales. Sales didn't answer and it went to their voicemail and so the next note record here is inbound call to voicemail. So both note records were created based upon that call, one with the voicemail and one with the auto attendant information. You can build dashboard reports since there are note records created for every auto attendant call. Uh, if you open the admin reports window in Infusionsoft and create a task note report style, you want to set the main search to be turbo dial colon inbound call to auto attendant, and then you can adjust the other filters as needed. And uh, in many cases, you'll want to save that report and choose uh, Add to User Home Screen. Let's uh, go back to the dashboard of this test account. We'll be able to see that dashboard report, such as the one I just showed you there. Here's that call that just came in on Auto Attendant. Auto Attendant calls. The contact was Reed Olson. Let's look at all results so we can show you how that report was set up. If I look at criteria and columns, here's that main search screen, inbound call to auto attendant. I've left the rest of the configurations filters unselected and I just chose which columns I want to display for this report and now it shows up like this and if I add it to my home screen I can see it here. A little bit more information about the campaign goal triggers that we discussed. You can set up API goals in your Infusionsoft campaigns that then can be triggered by your callers First of all, though, the caller must have been found in your Infusionsoft account. You cannot trigger API goals if the caller was not found. And secondly, when the caller chooses an extension that you've configured with a call name, if you don't have a call name associated to the extension, then an API goal will not be triggered. Let me go back and show you real quickly again where that was at. Recall on 103, we put an API goal right there. That's the call name that will be used to trigger an API goal if someone enters the 103 extension. So that specific configuration for that API goal will have two fields, an integration field and a call name field. 
In this case, the call name is going to be called billing. Here in the example, it's called forward only. In all cases, the integration will be turbo dial auto. The capitalization is critical here. The D is capitalized and the A is capitalized. Nothing else is capitalized. Likewise, your call name must be exactly as shown here, as shown here. And you cannot have spaces or punctuation marks in call names. So an example might be here. Press 5 if you'd like to receive an email with our insider specials for October. You can imagine giving people an option to get some information back from your company without actually ever talking to a human. In this case, press 5. Get that insider information. When they press 5, then you can set up a campaign that will automatically send that email to that contact. Now, of course, it will only be successful if that contact was found in your Infusionsoft account, so you'd only want to offer an option like this in the case where the lookup was successful. Some items to note about auto attendant. First of all, a transfer to destination must be a phone number. It can be any valid phone number that, that exists, but it must be a phone number. And that means it can also be a TurboDial inbound number that transfers to a TurboDial soft phone address. So you can, through that method, you can transfer a call to a soft phone. Uh, that transfer to destination cannot be a soft phone address directly. Only phone numbers are allowed, but See the previous item, right? Since you can set up a phone number to transfer to a soft phone address, then in effect you can still accomplish that goal of sending someone to a soft phone. The choice for number of digits to be entered cannot be modified after you've begun configuring your extensions. If you want to change, you know, let's say you want to change from three digit extensions to four digit extensions, then you're going to have to first delete all of your extensions, change the number of digits to be entered to four, and then go back and configure your extensions again. Uh, the zero extension, as we mentioned previously, is always included. You cannot delete it. You don't have to mention it in the greeting, but it must be configured for people that hit zero uh, when they're confused or they need help that isn't offered in the greeting. Your auto attendant configuration includes some recorded messages that you use for greetings and for your extension acknowledgement messages. You cannot modify a recorded message in TurboDial. Again, that's these messages here. You cannot click and modify a message if it's currently in use somewhere in auto attendant. If you want to modify a recorded message or delete it or change its name or whatever, you should first remove it from your auto attendant configuration, then proceed to modify it. If a call or enters an invalid option, they choose an extension that's not offered, uh, the greeting will be played to them again and then they can retry. Entering invalid options four times will be treated as entering zero, and they'll be sent to that extension. Okay, that's an overview of auto attendant and how to set it up. You can find more details about how to add auto attendant into your account at turbodial.biz. Happy calling, everybody.